Good afternoon, everyone. How are all my friends doing? Um, I am going to be doing a short tutorial on how to make a um, pin cushion. Um, this was taught to me by Terry, who is one crafty cookie. Um, it's very simple, and you can use this technique whether you're using a teacup for your pin cushion or a can, a box a tin, um, a ribbon spool, whatever. <laughs> Same technique. <laughs> so what you see before you is a big old blob of um, uh, batting. This is, you know, you can buy this at, it's fiber fill. You buy it at Walmart, like you know, three, four bucks a bag. I happen to find mine at Goodwill, a brand new bag for one dollar, and the bags are freaking huge. They'll last you for your lifetime, unless you're making like pillows and stuff with it, but um, I always find it at um, thrift stores, so check there first if you're looking for it. Um, and then I just have a, a piece of that same gold fabric. It's not, it's crudely cut. Um, it's approximately a 10 by 10, um, yeah, about 10 by 10. Well, more like 11 by 11 uh, piece of fabric here. I have too much fabric. I'm going to be using this teacup here. This one here. And um, I like to start with too much fabric for a couple of reasons. Um, you can always take away the extra fabric after you tie it off. Um, but you can't add fabric to it if you have too little. So basically what you need to start with is some fiber fill, a piece of fabric of your choice, um, and a, a cup or, um, you know, whatever you want to make your, your pin cushion in. And a um, hot glue gun is what I use. Um, you also need a rubber band or two to tie it off at the bottom, and I'll show you how to do that. And a pair of scissors is always handy to keep nearby. Um, and what I do also, which I'm not going to do on this video, but I'll show you quickly. Um, like say for instance, if I want to glue the teacup to the plate, I would use this glue right here. I would not use hot glue. I would use this right here. Beacon 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Glue. This stuff is awesome. And all you do is put a little along the rim of the bottom of the cup, stick it down where you want it, leave it alone overnight, and you're good to go. Um, so anyways, uh, let me show you how to quickly put this together. So I've got my piece of 11 by 11-ish fabric, a big old ball of fiber fill, fiber fill. And all you do is put it right in the center of the fabric. And then you just gather the bottom up like this. Just gather it all up into the middle like you're making a ponytail. Okay. Pull it as tight as you like for it to be. You can always add fiber fill to it if you don't feel you have enough. It all depends on how firm you want it and how much you want it to stick out the top of your thing. And then what I do before I put the rubber band on it is I, I test drive it. I just stick it right in my cup and see, okay, is that how I want it to look? Is that enough fiber fill? Should I add more? Um, is it sticking out too much? Should I take some out? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I think that's about right because I played around with it before I started the video. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just gather it up again. <laughs> Just gather it up right like this and make sure it looks good from the other side. You want it to be round if you're using something round to put it in like the cup. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. You can always adjust it once you get the rubber band on. So I'm going to take my rubber band and I'm just going to tie it on there as tight as I can get it. It's just like doing a ponytail in your hair. Okay, so tie it, tie it, tie it, tight, tight, tight. Sometimes I'll put a second rubber band on if I feel this one's kind of flimsy. And I'm feeling like this one might actually break and it might just do it on the camera here. <laughs> I'm hoping not, but hey, you never know. 
All right, so I have my rubber band on. It's on nice and snug. Play around with this, get it back to the shape you want it in. You can pull the fabric from down here, kind of fluff it out, fix it the way you think it will look nice. Now you see all this extra fabric? That's all right, don't worry about it. Take your teacup, place this in. Make sure it looks decent before you hot glue it in. I'm not too happy with that little lumpy lump right there, so let's try to fix that. Eh, that's all right. I think that'll be all right. So what I will do is I'll take my scissors and make sure you have good sharp scissors for this. Take your scissors, cut off all that extra fabric. You don't need it. And you might be able to use it for something else. There you go. So I have a strip of fabric now that I could maybe use for flowers or whatever. So that'll go in my scrappy pile. So then what you do is just take the hot glue and what I like to do is put the glue right around here and you want to put quite a bit. I use a low temp hot glue gun um, only because I've told that that's best to use on paper so it doesn't burn your paper. And I, I do have a hot temp glue gun but I never pull it out and use it. So, But you can use hot temp or low temp on this. It doesn't matter. Hot temp actually might be better. This is a little loose and I want to try to fix it before I put it in my project there. Sorry. Just realized it was loose there. Okay. So... Yeah, I think that'll be all right once I, once, you know, you know what, I am going to put that second rubber band on because that's bothering me. Let me just quickly wrap this around. So that's basically it, you know, you just play around with it until you see the shape that you like. And uh, then rubber band it off and hot glue it in. So there we go, that's that's firmer, that's better. Okay, so yeah, just take hot glue around the bottom of your thing here and you may have to play around with it a bit. And I know I'm gonna need another hot glue stick. Just one second. I should have been prepared. <laughs> oh well. Um, anyway, you need quite a bit of glue for this, um, or at least I like to use quite a bit of glue. So what I'll do is I'll make one round around here, pop another glue stick in, try not to get any glue on your rubber band, that would not be good. Okay, let's see if we can stick that into our cup. Don't worry about glue strings, you can get them off afterwards. So stick that right down in there and Seems like maybe I should have used more fiber fill, but you know what? I'm okay with the way this looks So just let it sit for a few minutes make sure that it's glued in securely and basically you have your pin cushion and you can you can Mess around with it more once it's glued in into place and such So that's basically it and then you know, glue it to your plate, glue on any embellishments you want, flowers, butterflies, whatever you choose, and there you go. But, you know, it's basically the same technique for any type of pin cushion you want to make. A teacup, a, a can, a whatever, a tin, a box, the sky's the limit. Use your imagination. <laughs> All right, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you, Terry, for teaching me this technique. I'll leave a link to Terry's um, channel in the description box below. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.